uh, you're on Toon Milk TV and I'm gonna show you how to recreate this in Anim Studio Pro. Okay, so you create a new file, you create a basic shape, a round one. We're gonna be uh, the base of your of your flame. Okay. So yellow for the moment. You create a particle folder and you put this layer in this uh, folder and you have your basic particle with a default configuration and now create less particle there we go then First of all, we're gonna put this layer down. Okay. Let's make the particle uh, upside. Okay. Reduce the velocity of the particles. Let's put 0 0.5 then the particles are slower. Mm. The velocity spread at zero. Then the particles are more regular. The spread at zero too. We don't need to have um, a, a big um, source um, high or depth. This is where the particles begin. We don't need that. So it's now it's regular and the last thing we need to do is um, put the lifetime uh, down that means the particle will stop will be um, shorter Then we need to mask that. We need to put uh, other particles to create the flame effect. So we duplicate this one. We're gonna make uh, mask that on the left and on the right. So let's call this one left side. We take the base of the flame we reduce its size and we put that on the left as we saw so you see it here I'm gonna put that in black that will be more comprehensive this is um, 
the, the, the part we're going to mask. So we need to um, to uh, customize uh, the way the particles will move. So the spread will be a bit a little bit chaotic. Let me do one. The spread also one for the moment, more than one. Okay, ten. Mm -hmm. uh, no, we don't need the, this spread. Oh yes, five. Five. No, one. Okay. And uh, we need to change the shape to have something a little bit more realistic. I mean, some things look like more um, the shape you can find on the the flames. Okay, and um, let's see how it look. We put everything in a new layer, in a new folder, sorry. And let's do some masking work. We hide all. Okay, we're still seeing the particles here. Here, so this is going to be also uh, mass. Did uh, shape? Did uh, that shape will mask uh, our particle base? And this particle base need to be out of this um, mask work. Uh, no, this is okay. Oh, sorry. Before we make uh, mask work, we need a shape. We'll reveal the um, the shape of the flame itself, and it would be also the color of the shape. The shape. The color of the flame. Sorry. Okay. Yellow. more stylish a gradient red a dark red for the the end of the flame and um, white white for the birth of this flame and yellow for the in-between color. Okay. Let's start here. Like that. And now... Okay. So, the particle base is 
in the mask there it's the part it's the part of the mask that mean we still see the um, the shape but it will be invisible and that will be the layer color who will reveal this shape and this shape this uh, folder this particle folder will be subtract from the mask and this mask will be invisible too and then we just need to create a new one let's call it call it right side we put this one on the other side to be more flame stylish we orientate that a little bit inside of the flame and to have something really really um, uh, who look like more flame we need to animate uh, this shape uh, because the shape is still the same one when on the timeline so we need to make a new one but smaller that will be the end of our flame as you see And then at this point you just need to play around with your uh, shapes and uh, make it look like more um, a flame. Maybe we can do that, make that really, really smaller, maybe we can but I guess you you understand how it work so we can also make the particle going bigger here to hide um, the round part of the of this particle so we can animate it too make it bigger on the timeline So as you see, you just need to, um, to play around with that and find your uh, your proper your proper style. <coughs> no. Okay. You see, you can you can play with the spread of the particle. Okay. Now You can also okay. Uh, 
Maybe here you can play with that now. <clears throat> okay, now you have something look like more flame and maybe we can make the particles ending uh, sooner and smaller like that so Okay. Here we are. We are. We've got our flame made. We can also add um, more particles. Uh, up. We can make a second one. Move it right here. Make it smaller. Okay. Now you are you've got smaller mask you can rotate that as you like this is really up to you um, what kind of a frame you want to have you see okay Let's make another one <coughs> on this side, a smaller one too. Okay. I hope you like uh, this tutorial. And uh, see you see you soon.